Um, yeah, hello YouTube, hello everybody. Uh, I am DJ Kobe, and welcome to uh, my second tutorial on Virtual DJ 8. Uh, as I told you the last time, we are going to look at how to set our keys for our um, crossfader. Actually, Virtual DJ has its manual keys that is a control, it has a page up, and then the page down for quick switching from um, the middle to the left and then to the right, respectively. Yeah, for me, I am a dummy on even how to bring it to the middle unless the mouse. If there is any key, I think you might help in the comment box below. But today we are going to look at how to set a single key instead of the key combination, like using the control and the page up, which will save time and a little bit of you know, which will make you a little bit comfortable in using it. So when you go straight ahead, you go to the settings, uh, ahead, straight to the controllers. Yeah, of course I might have it there. I want to use GHJ for it, you know. So pressing it, I think yeah, I have it there. So I have to delete it and then you know, we, we look at how we can um, do it ourselves. Yes. So GH and J. So um J is gonna send it to the sorry the right. Yes. So cross the yes, I just like the action is Cost fader hundred percent. Yeah, I will type everything the same thing for the other one, so I have to copy this one. H H will send the cross fader to the middle, so yeah, I wanted to send it to the middle, so it's a fifty percent, and then G is going to send it to the extreme left, so that is that one is going to be zero percent. I just save it. I mean, I'm using my laptop's webcam, so maybe you might want to see my keyboard. So I only can help it this way. Yeah, bring it down a little bit. Maybe I hope you can see it. So yes, um, you can see when I press the G, it sends it to the left. I press the J, it sends it to the right, and then the H puts it exactly in the middle like that. So uh, we might want to. <coughs> maybe you didn't see that. Yeah, actually it works it's the same it works for virtual dj7 uh, and i think says as well and yeah i will have to load a track in the, this thing and then we have we give it a test i might want to increase the bpm actually increasing the bpm this is the default key is the shift and then the plus button so you might want to try that um, the plus in the new numeric pad so I load the track, I just play like this. Uh -huh. yeah, done. Lower the volume a little bit so that you can hear what I'm saying. Uh, so as it is playing, I might want to, I will load the same sound in, in the other deck. Yeah. And, uh, yes. Now, I'll bring it here. I press the play button like that. I have to time it. Now. We want to hear both sound, so you get it. I press the H button and you can hear another one playing with the loop, like K and the other one is playing. So I might want to switch it straight ahead to the other side, so I just press it like that and it's working. So you might want to give it a try on your um, on your PC, on your virtual media, yeah, and it's going away. I press the G, it brings it here, H brings it here, and then, uh, sorry, J, and then H sends it as I'm in the middle. So that's the bit about it setting now the first key for our virtual DJ 8. Today we looked at the cross fader. Now, next time I'll bring you another tutorial on um, another one. We are, so we, we are looking at how to customize our virtual DJ to suit our ass, like us to how we want it to be in order to do everything like perfectly you know the keys are the default keys are cool but you know sometimes if you have your own set it the way you want it it's very comfortable and easier and so so interesting to work with and virtual dj is very flexible in doing that so i'll come your way next time with another tutorial you you, you try out as much as possible to hit the like button and then subscribe to my channel Thank you for the love. Bye. Until next time.